Welcome back to the Tom Hartman program. Uh, this is why I schedule one and a half hours of the show to take your calls, because I know I get on my soapbox. So let's get right to it. Johnny in Texas, you're on the line. Hey, Alex. Good afternoon, and thank you for what you do. Thank you. Listen, back in the 1980s, during Ronald Reagan's reign, I served on my, in my community's volunteer fire department, and uh, when we could afford it each year in April, we would go up to uh, A&M, and um, they had a training field there. And uh, we, they had uh, ravines and all kinds of situations where we would train for EMS and, uh, and fire training. So the people that were up there, the volunteers who pretended to be injured or to be pretended to be bystanders and acting out, we just called them volunteer actors or just volunteer EMS people. We didn't have, we didn't call them crisis actors. This right-wing, the right-wing TV activists, including Dana Lush, were inventing a, 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 a Frank Lund style using the, the script of crisis. That is so melodramatic. There's nothing melodramatic about Black Lives Matter activist or Colin Kaepernick pointing out illegal killing of black and Latino Americans. We don't go over the top. They do. We don't project onto other people our ills. They do. And the only uh, crisis actors that I could think of, besides uh, Wayne LaPierre, is Paul Ryan, Mitch McConnell, and that guy in the White House, along with those 50 Trump crisis actors he paid when he came down that golden staircase. <laughs> I think you're exactly right, Johnny. Uh, and, you know, the, the, the thing is, this is like this conspiracy theory that uh, the, the victims of these massacres are fake, are just actors. It's got to be one of the most noxious of all of the conspiracy theories that's trotted out after each and every one of these massacres. Uh, and, and, and I want to really push on, like, you have to be a pretty soulless person with no moral compass, just floating around soullessly to, 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 to trot this out knowing that the reason you're doing it is just to derail the conversation. Right. This is why this is the NRA's tactic. So first they say, oh, well, you don't know what the definition of assault weapon is. And I think that uh, this whole definitional garbage. Uh, and then they're like, oh, well, then they throw out this smoke and mirrors conspiratorial one and they put it out through their message boards and and their mouthpieces who are more in the fever swamps like Alex Jones. But, you know, part of the problem is Alex Jones is now like favored in the White House. You got Tucker Carlson bringing it right into to Fox, right into your uh, your the cable news. You have Sinclair broadcasting, repeating this garbage. Uh, and, you know, it, it, it really is incumbent on the Republicans and the right to, to put an end to it. And if they can't call out the disgustingness, the, the absolute disgustingness that is this conspiracy theory that says, uh, people who, who survived a, a, a spree shooting, a mass shooting, are faking it, are faking it. It's despicable. And the entire NRA should have to apologize right now. And anyone who's taken even a dollar of their money should have to apologize, not just for this, but start there. Just start there. Just apologize for your minions uh, besmirching the names of people who've gone through just undescribable horribleness.